Hi, welcome to my Prime Moon Child. My name is Katie. This is the Angel Guide Oracle by Kyle Gray. Um, I can't wait to have a look at this deck. I've just done his Angel Workshop and oh my God, I fell in love with Kyle Gray. Um, <laughs> if you haven't um, uh, heard of Kyle Gray, he works with angels um, and channeling angels and working with angels spiritually. Um, and oh my God, I'm a new super fan. I love him so much, honestly. He, he's, I have a, I've had a weird relationship with angels and uh, God, spirit, whatever. Um, and he just kind of explained angels in a way that meant that I could embrace them again. So um, yeah, it's incredible. So let's get this wrapper off and have a look at this box because I'm already in love with the fact that there's this gorgeous copper foiling on the, on the angel guide oracle that is shining metallic. There we go, we have Kyle Gray artwork by Jennifer Hawkyard. Um, and then on the side we have the foiling, the top the same, produced by Hay House, so it's a standard Hay House deck box, um, with the little frame even having its foiling. Um, and then the same on the bottom, and then obviously it's a genuine one, so we have the barcode on the bottom and the house production house details. Um, your angel guides are waiting to connect with you. The angel guide oracle is a bridge between heaven and earth, bringing together 44 images of guardian angels with insightful, supportive and healing keyword messages. When your heart seeks transformation, when your soul seeks truth, upon call upon your angels' wisdom and their infinite compassion will lead you on your path. Kyle Gray is one of the world's leading angels teachers. Angel teachers. He is the best-selling author of seven books and co-creator of three oracle decks. I do actually have another one of his decks. Um, Keepers of the Light, I think it is. Um, I'll link that up there at some point. Um, let's have a look. Oh, wow. Thank you, angels, for reminding me of your presence and for revealing to me what I need to know. I am willing to listen and receive, and so it is. I love that that is this gorgeous peachy yellow orange fiery oh gorgeous yeah it is fire gorgeous and it has this stunning wings and it's sort of facey and dragony I kind of like that <laughs> whatever that design is I like that it's symmetrical and clouds and mountains and so anyway, there's the guidebook. I will get to the guidebook afterwards. I'm going to go through the cards first. I tend to go through the cards first. So let's pull off this paper cuff and I like that it's paper instead of it's kind of like masking tape washi tape without the glue um paper cuff to keep it together there's a better picture of those image of those that design inside so it has obviously the eye with the knowledge coming out third eye these almost look like swan angels butterfly wings oh, it's beautiful absolutely stunning with almost like a phoenix tail at the bottom it's absolutely beautiful and all this fiery swirly um oh my god there's relief patterns in here as well wow <laughs> okay let's go through the cards one by one obviously they're gloss printed um they're not transferring fingerprints at the moment so that's good and they don't feel sticky but they are obviously glossy so i will try and keep them tilted this way a little bit so we have angelic protection ask and receive Blessings and abundance. Oh my god, this artwork. This is so different to the last deck I had. Clear, cancel, and release. Compassion. Composure. Wow. That feels powerful. Courage and bravery. Cut the cords. Divine timing. I love that that has an inner working portal. Do the work. Earth and ground. Ease and grace. Expect miracles. Forgiveness and understanding. Friendship and union. Guardian angel. Oh, you're beautiful. Harmony and resolution. Wow. Healing energy. That feels very Joan of Arc. Holy love. Honesty and communication. Inner child healing. Intuition and downloads. 
joy and contentment, learning experience, listen deeply, manifestation, mother, father, God, no, sometimes no is necessary, opportunity and change, power and intention, raise your vibration, romance and connection, sacred plan, self-acceptance, signs and reminders, spiritual growth, which is off the cover, which the deck provides, strength and guidance, surrender, Take a step back. Take charge and action. Transformation. Trust the universe. Wow. Sorry, that just took me back, that image. Vulnerability and freedom. And yes, at the end, because if you have a no, you need a yes. Okay, let's have a look at the cards, them, like how they shuffle. So I'm just going to riffle shuffle them. They, they do want to. <laughs> I just did that really poorly. <laughs> Sorry. Um, there we go. That's better. That's better. Yes, they do. They riffle shuffle, casino shuffle, fine. If they have someone dealing with them properly. And they shuffle hand over. They're a little bit sticky to begin with. A little bit. But they have just come out of the packet. They were all pressed together when they were cut. Um, so, yeah, very much... Um, Sliding. They're not clumping too much to each other, though. They are. You can tell that they're going to move. There, yeah, they will move eventually. Um, they're not too sticky. They're not sticking, sticking like they could do with a glossy deck. But um, I mean, as you use them, as you work through with them, they will loosen a little bit. Cards are relatively thin, but when you've paid like what, twelve pounds, fifteen pounds for a deck, you don't expect embossed cards and um, especially mass-produced decks. You don't expect thick cards with gilding and stuff. Uh, it tends to be safe for the boxes, as it is in this case. Um, but it's good quality. For a mass-produced deck, that is really good quality. Um, a little bit thicker, I would say, than the, um, the Hay House Tarot. You know, the um, work... No, not Work Your Light Oracle. That's Well, that is Hay House, but that's, I think. Um, no. Light Keeper. Light... <laughs> Have a look light seers the light seers i don't know if anybody's got the light seers these feel thinner than the oracle cards the oracle cards feel a little bit thicker they're a thicker card stock much thicker card stock these give really easily these aren't quite so giving um so yeah the tarot cards are a lot thinner and they're hay house but the tarot cards are a lot thinner than these oracle cards for anybody that has the two to compare. Um, let's have a look. So let's have a look at the booklet. I'm so worried about putting the cards back in. Let's have a look at the booklet. So here we go with the guidebook. It's printed in this peachy colour. Um, obviously there's the blurb on the back with a little bit about Kyle Gray. So let's go inside. Uh, also by Kyle Gray. Oracle card guide. Sorry, somebody's decided to cut their grass today. We're back into summer. Um, contents. Interpretation of the cards. So we have the introduction, and then how to use your angel, angel guide oracle cards. The deck explained, bonding with your cards, connecting, communicating, conducting angel readings, shuffling the cards, jumping the cards, reading for yourself, um, reading for another person, reverse cards, a selection of spreads. So we have a daily card, strength, heart, and challenge spread, nine card spread future guidance and have fun which is the most important thing with spirit interpretations of the cards so we have a black and white image of the card the title the message that's coming from it and then there's an extended message as well so um that's for each of them and they are in alphabetical order so you can find them i love it when they do that put them alphabetical or at least put the number order in the book sometimes you get them in random orders and you've got to find your way through them all so yeah, I really like that these are alphabetical orders. Ending on yes, 
yes 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 the answer is yes um there's an extended message as well um about the artist jennifer hawkyard incredible art by the way jennifer not that you probably will ever see this but it's there um absolutely stunning artwork kyle gray um and then obviously there's the hay house app details there a little bit in love with this deck which as i said i don't have a huge attachment to angels as such um i'm working on my connection with angels um re-establishing how i meet them um because that's what spirit does it's about how they meet you at your energy so it's trying to work out how i feel about them um but th they are unconditionally loving so they'll, they'll they'll understand um but yeah so anyway i hope that is of some use to you and hopefully i will see you again soon bye for now